Good mid-afternoon, 12.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Thursday, September 19th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So what I want to look at here is XRP, we are teasing a breakout here. Is this going to play out? Is this a trap on retail? As we know, Chris Larson has moved 50 million XRP tokens. Now, I've seen speculation from anywhere that this is for a campaign contribution. This could be for the SEC resolution, yada, yada, yada. I don't think if it was for the Ripple case that it would be coming from Chris Larson's uh, personal wallet. It would be coming from Ripple Labs. So I'm going to put that to rest right now. That's just my personal opinion. I think if it was for the lawsuit, it'd be coming from the Ripple Labs um, fund and not from Chris Larson's personal fund. That's just my personal interpretation, and you're welcome to your own, but that's what I think. Um, <clears throat> I was hoping to see XRP here, as I did have a copy trade out a little earlier, and um, I wanted this to bounce off, play off this W reversal. It was in around 56.38. Or off, what is it, 58.38. And then it ended up bouncing up initially. Got a rejection up here, which is an interesting level. And then once it came through, we'll look at it. There's another level. But it pushed back down. And when it got through the 58.80, because there's a cup that was formed here. Once it came back through here, I let go of my position. It was about a $10 move, just over $9 move. We'll look at the copy trading stuff. Despite all of the interesting phenomenons we've had doing the copy trading uh still managed to break out to an all-time high here in the uh hundred dollar challenge some people have left some people have uh, stayed but you know it's uh it's been an interesting thing and i'm learning a lot through that so we'll go over that before i leave but the most important thing here is we're trying to play out to 60.7 cents now the one thing that i will say if you look at this in a bigger time frame it could be telling us that maybe this was a bearish trap because right here it came around and the fact that this didn't pull down farther that's technically bearish now it could be bearish coming all the way to the top at the 60 cents but it could have also been bearish once it finished off this little boom now it's trying to swing around if it comes back down it's probably going to come all the way through you know it'll at least come through that 5802 area but the bigger w the short term one is more bullish, what we were looking at here for continuation. But with what's set up below, that could be telling us that maybe this isn't all it's cracked out to be. And now I'm starting to think with what Chris Larson did with the 50 million XRP, that is this a trap on retail? Set up a nice looking reversal pattern. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But today's looked like it could be more of a setup because it literally came from 59.3 and we've given it all back. We've basically given it all back. I bought at 56.30 or 58.38, which happened to be the dip, right? It was either this one or this one. No, it wasn't on the USD chart though. It was on USDT, so it would have been lower. But I bought at 56.38. See, it came to 58.32 on USDT. But looking at it, we can see that could... That top one looked okay, but when you look at the overall W reversal, you want to see bullish Gartley. And the left side, unfortunately, was down farther. That oftentimes, it ends up being a bearish signal. And then when it finishes the move up right here, it ends up falling out. Now, that doesn't mean it can't come all the way up or break out. I'm just saying that could be an early indicator. I hope I'm wrong, honestly. I want this to break out because I see a big opportunity that could be setting up here. But if it falls below 58.02... It invalidates my thesis. So as long as we're over 58.02 cents, we're good. But if we come below 58.02, it comes below that short-term W reversal, the bullish Gartley W reversal, and then it would end up starting to come back down towards the overall W reversal. Maybe it needs more consolidation. I don't know. I would like to think it can break up because the technical target's 60.73 cents. As long as we don't give up where I have the breakout point, and that's right at the 58.02 cents. Because we don't want to invalidate this W reversal. As long as this W reversal is intact, we're in good shape. We're in very good shape. So let's see how it plays. Let's see if now we can start reversing. I'm optimistic. Very optimistic. 
because Bitcoin's up 2.55% to 63,000, uh, 63,332. And it looks like it wants to finish filling out its technical target of 64,339. Um, so we'll see what happens. The other reason I closed the trade is because I had too much money in it because I've been testing it out after our little bizarro world yesterday, which we came out ahead if you, if everybody stuck around, but now we have to uh, see if XRP is going to give this back now or if we're going to be able to push up and hit that, push that technical zone of 60 cent, 60.7 cents roughly. That's where I'd like to see us end up. And then real quickly, we can go over. I just want to go over very quickly. And then we got to read the article, um, the copy trading section, so we can just at least see where we're at right now. So our $100 challenge at least uh, what I'm seeing in front of me, total PNL is up $286.95. So our $100 challenge sits at about $386.95. Right now, being up $286, starting right now, I'll just tell everybody, the most I can put on any given trade is $386. But I'm going to try to keep it, you know, to a marginal amount. I don't know if I necessarily want to keep doing that. Um, I tested it out at the request of some. And uh, overall, our statistics, what's it say? Just last seven days, we had a dip yesterday, as you can see, down 2.78%, but we rallied back up 3.07. And then, uh, yeah, so now we're right here, and we at least reversed that little loss. I mean, I don't know how many people stuck around. Well, 25, so we lost 11 people. Um, so yeah, I feel good about that. And then overall, you can see it's uh, it's a pretty bumpy ride sometimes. So we have a push up, we had a pull down. Then like yesterday, we had that dip down to 37.84, and then we were managed to pull this back up overall. So it's uh, it's interesting what ends up going on. So we recovered the loss and then a little bit more. So I'm happy to see that. So now let's read this. And if you want to copy trade, go in the video description below and or pin comments. You can uh, download Hotcoin. And once you do that, make sure you deposit money on the futures. And once you put it on the futures uh, account, then you can go into the copy trading section, type in XRP. My name will come up. Let me go, I'll show you right now while I have this. Oh, we're doing this. So if you're in the futures, go to copy. And if you haven't followed me yet, just type in search XRP. And then you'll see my name come up. 30 day PNL, 5.56% right now in the last 30 days. Our total PNL is $286.95. All oh, it's been a rocky 30 days, but we're up ahead still. Um, so it's nice to see that at least. So we'll continue. Uh, we'll continue pushing forward. I'm happy about that. So, um, and as we see here, Bitcoin coming back below. It looks like 63,000. I'm not coming on here because I want XRP to go down. It's just I've seen something that gives me cause for concern right now. And I, I have a strong feeling that this might bust through this 58 cent mark. I really do. I hope I hope not. But because if this creates what looks like a, maybe it wants to create more of an inverse head and shoulders on this backside, even if it wants to maintain bullishness. And that could still happen. But let's just say we've got this played out, right? And that's a little bearish because it's not a bullish Gartley. That's a bearish W. But they don't always play out bearish and immediately because they sometimes finish this short-term move and then they come through, which is what we're looking for at 60 cents if it plays up. Um, but may, man, this doesn't... I'm trying to find a way for this to go up, up, up right now. And we can see the setup, but we'll, we'll see if it ends up playing out. We'll see if this plays out transparently or not. If not, if it starts breaking back down, we know we could create a wider inverse head and shoulders which is all the way down at 53.3 cents. And that very well could happen. If this move right now fails and we end up breaking down, that's probably where we would fall to. You'd have to come through the channel that we're in right now, but you'd have to break this right around 57.4 cents. So we'll see how this plays out. A lot of information here, so you might have to watch this twice. And now let me go into this, what I spoke of before. So 50 million XRP cryptocurrencies transferred. What is this operation by Chris Larson Hyde. So the world of crypto is a buzz again after a massive transaction was made today. And this was out yesterday, I believe this came out. Co-founder of Ripple, 
or uh, was made. So the world of crypto is in a buzz. There was a buzz again after a massive transaction was made today by Chris Larson, co-founder of Ripple. While the market is particularly attentive to the movements of major uh, major fortunes, this transfer of several million dollars immediately caught the attention of investors. This type of rare and unexpected transaction revived speculations about the future of XRP, a crypto that continues to attract as much interest as it does concerns. So as September 18, 2024, a wallet held by Chris Larson made a transfer of 50 million XRP with an estimated value of $29 million. According to Whale Alert uh, uh, data, a platform specializing in monitoring large crypto uh, movements this transaction was the first in more than 11 years for this particular wallet. The transfer was made to an unknown address. This operation immediately led to a 4% increase in the price of XRP, which reached 58.4 cents with a 14.1% increase in trading volume. Such a quick reaction demonstrates how the market is sensitive to the actions of whales like Chris Larson, whose every move is closely scrutinized. In addition to its size, this transfer represents about 10% of the XRP assets held by the co-founder of Ripple. Some observers fear it could be a precursor to a massive sell-off, a dreaded situation in the crypto where, world where sudden transactions can lead to significant price drops. For now, no official information has been released regarding the purpose of this operation. This transfer comes, so an unexpected political support and its implications. So this transfer comes in a context where Chris Larson has shown his political support for Kamala Harris a U.S. presidential can candidate, a fact that has not gone unnoticed in the crypto community. And remember, if you're not from the USA, Kamala Harris did not win the presidential uh, nominee. They just inserted her. She actually got laughed off the stage the last time she tried to actually get the presidential uh, nominee. But, you know, that's how it goes. Observers speculate that this transfer could be related to potential donation. And I'm not for or against her. Because I don't care about the political realm. I know the central banks are in control of everybody. So it's all a show. But I'm just saying we should all know what's going on. Observers speculate that this transfer. But also, it's not a bad thing either. Ripple, we should want them to play both sides of the fence. So some are on Trump's side and the Ripple backfield. And now uh, Chris Larson is in Kamala Harris's side. If he donates there and the other one donates to Trump, they're getting on the good side of whoever wins. See, I'm looking a little deeper. I see what's going on. This is this is like 5D chess here. Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse and the rest, they're splitting up now what they're doing as far as donation for contribution. So no matter who wins, they're going to have a positive light for XRP and Ripple. I think that's what's going on deeper. But hey, I could just be some schmuck who's on YouTube. Heck, I'm not even a financial advisor, so why would anybody even listen to me, I guess? But if you do appreciate uh, what I do, Consider sending a YouTube super chat or joining Tom's Army. This has been a very, very uh, low month when it comes to that kind of stuff. But, you know, not all months are great. But I believe this is the lowest month we've had in the entire year, which is kind of a shame. But, you know, it is what it is. Although this remains to be confirmed, this dance has surprised many in the sector as Harris is seen as less favorable to cryptos compared to other candidates. Beyond the political stakes... The XRP market is experiencing a period of transformation, particularly with the launch of the Grayscale XRP Trust, an initiative aimed at attracting institutional investors to this crypto. The addition of institutional funds could provide stability in an often volatile environment. Moreover, the XRPL XRP Ledger ecosystem continues to progress with an increase in the total value lock TVL and DeFi projects based on this blockchain. While these developments indicate a renewed interest in XRP Larson's actions, whether it's a donation or a more complex financial strategy, continue to spark speculation about the medium-term prospects of this crypto. Although Chris Larson's massive transfer has triggered short-term volatility, its long-term implications remain uncertain. Whether it's simply whether it's a simple reorganization of his assets or a politically motivated move. This action clearly illustrates how whales can still profoundly influence the crypto market. So, it's a, it's a very interesting um, dynamic we've got going on here. But it's good to see that Ripple, XRP, they're playing, or Ripple in particular, they're playing both sides of the political field. So, that's what you like to see. At least in my opinion, you guys might think I'm crazy, but I think that's what's going on here. So, don't, don't judge. 
don't be hateful towards Kamala just because, you know, that she might not be your cup of tea. Or don't be hateful towards Trump because he's not your cup of tea. You want to do this with love. So just understand the central bank should be everybody's cup of tea because they're pulling the strings for both of the two I just spoke of. The fear and greed index is at 49 right now, which is neutral. Yesterday was at fear 45. Last week, 31 fear. Last month, 30 fear. We ended up hitting a crescendo point. Um, in the last couple months where we actually had the fear and greed index and major uh, greed up at 74 and then we hit a low of extreme fear at 17 on August 6th. Now we've been kind of moving around um, so we'll see if it breaks out to the bull's favor or to the bear's favor. But that's what I got everybody. Make sure to hit that like button and if you're looking to trade crypto look in the video description below and or pin comments. There's BitUnix and or Hotcoin. They both offer XRP in the XRP and around the or, uh, in the United States and around the world, so ooh, this is this is good. This might be good right here. Finally, all right, this could be good. This could be our bullish reversal. Thirty minute reverse very strongly. This is good. This is very good. We're ten minutes to go, so if you're looking to trade now on a continuation up, this is good. We need, this is exactly what we needed. I'm so glad I'm doing this uh, update right now. If this continues up and we get it, because we came down to consolidate down to 58.55. Now it looks like we're having a bullish move here. So right now you could buy in and have your stop loss below 58.55 because there would be no reason if it's going to continue up, at least in this formation, to, um, to come back through this. So that's how you should approach it. I think it's, uh, you know what? I'm gonna show everybody how to do this. I'm gonna show everybody how to do this while we're live. So for me, I have to go into my copy trading and win or lose, I'm okay. I'm okay, we're doing this in real time. There's a 30 minute reversal candle. So this is the way I like to trade. Um, now it could very well come back through, but it is teasing a breakout. So I would like to believe it's not setting up retail and we're actually gonna come through. But here's the big discrepancy here. Watch this and you guys will see it in real time. So the price is at 58.95, right? We can see it. And USDT, 50, it might be a little lower. 58.93 on USDT. On here it shows 58.75, great. We've got a little bit lower price. So I'm gonna buy 125, it won't be exactly 125 when it actually fills it. So we're gonna buy it. And it filled up, one, how did I get 146? I put 125, whatever. So it's 146. So now you look, and we've got an entry price at 58.75, but it shows market price 58.81. So there's a differential between the market price and the price on Hotcoin. At least today, it let us enter in at the actual price. What it was doing yesterday, and for a few days, is it would show the market price at 58.81. It would say we entered at 58.75, but then up here it would show 58.78 or uh, 58. Um, it would show a completely different, it would be a separated number. So it would say 58.51 on market price, but on the top it would say like 58.71. And it would have a big differential. So right now it shows 58.73. So that's close enough. We have to base it on that it's a little bit lower. I just want to show everybody how to trade. And if this comes through, it'll be a minimal loss. But you put the stop loss here, in my opinion, at 58. Let's see. 58, we'll put it at 5850. 5850, but we gotta remember on here it's showing 5887. On here it's showing 5874 right now. So that's a 0.13 differential. So if I'm putting the stop loss at 5850, I need to be careful. Let's see, because it's a 1.5 differential. So let me get to the bottom of this. So it's at 58.54. Five. So we'll just say 58.54. 58.54, if it breaks through, we'll just say, like I said, 58.50. So 58.35 is where I would have to put it on here. So take profit, stop loss. So if you're doing this, this is how you do it. 0. 0.58. So 5.850. For us, though, we have to do it at 5.835. So that would be a $5 loss or minus 3.4%. And that's how we do it. That's all I have to do. Um, and then when I lock this in, I won't do anything unless, because I'm not gonna try to add much to this or do anything like that. 
um because i want to get back to how we were doing it now that we've got things figured out um so at least even though it says market price 5883 at least it bought us in at 5875 and it's basing it off the price above us now i don't know why they have the market price still on there with the differential but i'm very happy with that and i'm happy i was able to show everybody so if this goes wrong if we lose five dollars right now we're at 286 dollars we'd be at about 281 i can live with that oh i can live with that because uh we're just on an upward trajectory. So these are what I do. This is how I trade. If you like what you've seen here, consider copy trading with me on Hotcoin. And uh, over the last year, you can see I've only been doing this for 93 days, but you can see it's a bumpy ride. But overall, we keep coming out ahead. And uh, I would love to have more people here. We've got 25 people here right now. Some people left because a lot of time, you know, there's some market volatility with the system on Hotcoin. But I'm telling you, I'm a very seasoned trader and I have a lot of confidence in myself. So we'll see how this trade goes. Make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you in the live tonight. Have a blessed day, everybody. Seriously, have a very blessed day.